Hi, I'm Michael Turner. I came out to Fermilab in 1983 to help get astrophysics started with this guy next to me. I'm Rocky Cobb. I also came in 1983. And uh, the 1980s were an amazing time in cosmology and astrophysics. And Fermilab played a crucial role in that. And when we came out here, we had to announce our presence to the world, that there was a new way of doing astrophysics. So we decided to put on this meeting called Inner Space, Outer Space. There was no rule book. One of the great things about coming out here, there was no rules, there were no bosses. And so we sat down and said, so what would we like to have at this meeting that brings particle physics and cosmology together? We were here for years and thinking that sooner or later, somebody's going to come in and say, wait, you guys are in charge of this? What are you doing? There has to be a dose supervision. We just started calling people on the phone and inviting them to speak. People thought this was a crazy idea because Fermilab is a particle physics laboratory. And at first they were saying, well, why are you having astrophysics? Why are you having cosmology at a particle physics laboratory, at a high energy physics laboratory? But this was really the birth of the inner space, outer space connection between the fundamental laws of physics discovered here at Fermilab and the application to the early universe in the Big Bang. And I think this was the first meeting of, of, of its type that brought these two uh, groups together. And coming from the University of Chicago, I wanted the University of Chicago to publish the proceedings. And so we're there talking to them, and the University of Chicago Press says, well, we don't do proceedings, we do scholarly volumes. So Rocky and I had to think on our feet, and we said, well, you know, this isn't just a proceedings, this is the birth of a new field. We were making it up as fast as we could. It turns out that those proceedings were really, if you look at them, today's cosmology, you can just read it in, in the table of contents, and they did indeed publish it. But it really did change the way people view um, the connection between astronomy and physics. It really was the birth of a new field. And over the 20 some odd years uh, we were associated with Fermilab on a day-to-day -day basis, it really changed, it changed the game. It was a game changer. This is where the cosmic frontier was born.